Hey, welcome back. I'm Tanya from Tanya's Witchy Kitchen. How are you all doing? Just getting comfy. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Hope your day's going okay. I'm trying to stay out of the window, the light of the window, but I can't. It shows off my glasses. Um, it reflects off my glasses. Um, so, you know, my husband is still gone this week, right? So, my list of to-do to get done while he's been gone is, like, still there. Still there. And, uh, so, uh, last night, you know, I roll over and get growled at by my dog. And snapped at. And I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, Maggie, what are you doing in my bed? Right? And she kind of snapped again. I'm like, get the heck out. Like, literally, get the heck out. You're not allowed in my room. Right? So, I am doing laundry today. Because I'm my dog. You know, on top of everything else that I wanted to get done and I need to get done. Now I get to do laundry and vacuum my room and I just, oh, just it's so stressful. I'm sure some of you are like, what's the big deal? It's like, it is a big deal. We, we, this is our first dog. We've never had a dog because of my children's allergies and stuff like that. And amazingly, the one who should be the most allergic to her, um, he allows her in his room on his bed and has no problems with her. And I hate dog hair. I don't know how you guys do it. How do you have like three or four dogs in your house? And how do you keep the dog hair at bay? Like, I just, I'd love to know if you have tips, please post them to me, send them to me. I don't even care if it's an email. Like it just, it drives me nuts. <laughs> and I get to do floors this week because um, my son is back on the road with college rodeo and the other two have been helping out around the farm. And so I get floor duty. Yay. But anyway, the video this week or today, since I post two a week, don't I? I try to, I try to, um, the video this week is a soap and it's kind of a cool one. It's called love potion number question mark. Because I wasn't sure if Love Potion number nine was copyrighted. I just love that song. But anyway, <laughs> it's probably, you're probably like, that's ancient. It's like, it ain't that. For me, it was an old song, right? Because my mom grew up with it. You know, that was in her time. And sorry, I got sidetracked. Yeah, Love Potion number nine. I can't call it Love Potion number nine because that's not the thing. Three things. Gotta do it. Three things. Dream big. Be true to you, and you are worth it. Let's go check out the video. Bye. Okay, and here we are doing another soap. So my lye water is at 84 degrees. Oh, I'm sorry. Where the heck is my camera? Yep, 84 degrees. And my oils are at 98 degrees. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Exactly where they need to be. And I should always soap this slow, but it takes me forever to get to this point. And you know me, impatient. So, I'm gonna add this. I moved you to the other side. I hope maybe I can flip this um, because I am right-handed and uh, when I do it left-handed with my blender, I feel like I'm going to uh, uh, drop the thing, you know, so um, move that over here. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? pretty? Mm -hmm. So in my live water today, I am using half. Eh, not quite half. Uh, 
bit close to half water and half a uh, golden ale. What the heck is it called? Big wave golden ale. Yep. Alcoholic that I am not. Except for my soap. <laughs> just to emulsion because we're going to, to try and do a drop swirl and I think that's all I need right there yep that little bit isn't that crazy they're just small batches that's why oops I got it in my pink and this is my fragrance oil um, and my clay and some water don't ask me yeah I know water and well, don't mix. <laughs> it was convenient. Yeah, so this is love potion number. I wanted to call it number nine, but I didn't know if it was even, a, you know, if there's a copyright. So it's love potion number and then question mark. And I thought it was kind of funny because it's like my, my logo is, mm, sorry, no love potions. <laughs> but reminds me of that old song, my mom. My girls even like it. You know, love potion number nine. You know. Oh, we're gonna take you off. Yeah, if this doesn't stay fluid, I'm going to cry. Literally. This bar is so pretty. So pretty. And I need five ounces approximately in each color. You know how this goes, right? Just make a note. I shorted him a little bit. Yeah, so anyway. It's a crappy day outside. I feel crappy. It's just crappy all the way around. I had so much... I wanted to get done today and it was one of those days where you know your mental capability something took that up you know just wore you out in the beginning right away yeah you know stupid people it's kind of where my day went it's like <sighs> I probably should have just took a bath or did something but you know I wanted to get stuff done and Stuff wasn't getting done and I shorted you for it. So yeah, you know how that goes. Oh, you put more in here. So anyway, yep. So this recipe is beyond belief. Like it has more oils in it than a freaking I don't know. Like I'm serious. I was looking at it and I was like Holy beans, there are nine different oils in this sucker. Why? I don't know. I guess that's how I made it. I haven't made it in a while. And, oh, I think I got, I don't even know if I have any bars left. This is my titanium dioxide. I hope I'm in the picture. Gosh. That would be my luck today. Totally be my luck today. Um, yeah. But, you know there's so many recipes out there like seriously so there's 10 in this one and that's a lot that's a lot um but you know what you there's and there's recipes all over the internet I mean and you know it's you can't say if you come across somebody that's like they stole my soap recipe that's just bogus Okay, it's kind of like, you know, going to confession, right? 
the priest has heard it all, right? There's nothing new you can do to go to confession and confess your sins. Okay, I'm Catholic, yeah, whatever. Anyways, okay, the priest has heard it all. There is nothing you're going to surprise him with, okay? And that's kind of like soaping. There is nothing when it comes to these soaps. I mean, unless you're adding like, I don't know. I mean, even Tessa Silk is not a thing. I mean, it's a thing, but it's not like it's a, a special thing or goat milk or, you know, um, Hershey's cocoa or I wonder if peanut butter. Has anybody tried peanut butter soap? My kids are allergic to nuts and tree nuts. So yeah, I don't have peanut butter. I have some butter. I wonder what that would do. I mean, you could put anything in a soap, jam, jelly, you know, within ratios, as long as that, you know, but I'm sorry, you, you, you can't really steal somebody's recipe. And I know, um, the one girl out there, she has, she uses one recipe for all her soaps, which is awesome. I wish I could do that. I just can't. Um, and posts it out there. This is my soap. And I've seen other people, people that have used it and it's like that's great that's you know but it's soap you guys so it's kind of like the confessional he's heard it all it's all been done they've been making soap for how many years it's just only you know the creative aspect and even then even then so this girl she did she was doing a winnie the pooh soap for her son that's royalty soaps okay i think that's her new one of her newer videos anyway she um she had asked people to come up with a design and she had, and then she, well, she had her design and then some um, of her followers sent in a design, okay? And then somebody from overseas sent in a, des a design and then she did some looking, then she researched it after she was all done, okay? They were like, she said, it's amazing and it's Winnie the Pooh, so, you know, but she's like, none of us talked, none of us planned this. She says, and all their soaps looked similar. Very, very similar. I thought that was, I thought that was cool because really, you can't claim it's yours. Even the fragrance oil or a blend, I mean, somebody could come up with the same blend as me. And, you know, what are you going to do about it? You can't really do anything. Okay, so let's see if my soap is fluid enough to do what I want it to do. Okay. First, we're gonna do a side to side with every single color. Okay, mm -hmm. nothing big. And we'll do purple next. There's no rhyme or reason to my color order. Really, nothing. And just whatever's closer and whatever. Isn't that cool? It's so pretty. And it's just the right consistency to push it out of the way you know, to push the other colors out of the way and, um, but they're not, not to where they're gonna, um, be muddy, right? Okay, so this next pass, we're gonna go this way. And I don't know why I did this, but this is how I made this bar and we're sticking to it. We're gonna try and try and make it the same and it won't it'll be it'll be a little bit different i mean the colors are you know exactly like i used exactly this amount and i you know whatever we'll see it, it should come close i'm hoping it comes close you know but anyway yeah i don't know i just got on a rant about the soap thing because it's like People have been doing soap for how many years? Like, what am I gonna do? Say, you stole it from my grandma? You, so, you stole my grandma's soap recipe? You know? <laughs> I, I don't even know. I mean, we talked about it once a long time ago when I was a kid. You know, she's telling me how she made soap. And my dad actually remembered that. He said, yeah, he says, I can remember that. He goes, he goes you, you know, she'd have the bars, you know, cure, you know, out of the way and curing and, you know, and, I mean, it was like really cool. You know, I'm glad it's not a, a lost talent, you know. Um, my husband, gran husband's grandpa once said, he said, these young kids don't know anything anymore. You know, 
Did they butcher a pig? My kids could, because they love butchering. They butchered eight pigs this last fall. Um, you know, but nowadays these kids, like, could they make candles to survive? You know, Marie, could they, well, the soaping thing, that's, that's a, that's a bit that, you know, that came around, you know, but could you, how could you, you know, could you survive if you didn't have internet and, well, half those kids would have a meltdown, but, um, you know, could you, you know, could you fend for yourself? Whoops, whoops, nope, 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 don't deviate, don't deviate, keep the line straight. You know what I mean? Like, oh, this would be really cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah, and then I was thinking about my youngest, and he's, oh, he's a different child. Very smart, very bright child. Like, most kids are in their own way, you know, but um, he's a thinker, but not much of a doer some days. He wants his own YouTube channel, and I told him, I said, fine. I said, but it's got to be, it's got to be something interesting, worthwhile, you know, something you're doing, you know. Like, he made a video, we did a video once, uh, I think it was this last summer, and he showed, you know, how to make popsicles, you know, in the blender, and, like, stuff like that. I mean, uh, d you know, he'd rather do a Beyblade channel, and I told him, I said, you know, that's been overdone so many times, but go ahead and put a Beyblade video on there. But I said, you can't do Beyblades all the time. I said, I said, people are interested in other things. I said, why don't you put a puzzle together? I said, I don't even know how many of your classmates could put a puzzle together. Sad, I know. And maybe, maybe I'm not even, maybe I just don't have enough faith in them. I don't know. Not faith. Enough, uh, enough. Oh, what would you call it? Oh, let's see if you enough um an expectation. I don't know. Oh, I was gonna do something on the top, but now I don't know if I have enough. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I worry about my kids. I worry about this generation with the electronics and the all the things and. So hard to get them off. Freaking meltdown city. Yeah. Right? Whoa! See, it's still really fluid. Did you see that? Still really fluid. Which is great, you know. Okay, now we're gonna do a little design. I don't know how much I have left, so. Hmm. Yep. Can you hear the wind? It's just nuts today. I, it, the wind aggravates me. It gets on my nerves. Drives me a little batty. Which probably is the reason for my crappy mood today. It's a thing. Let's see. It's totally a thing. Sorry, I'm forgetting to talk. So they can't talk and work. I can, but. So this bar, um, one of my daughters really likes. I mean, it's, it's not like there's a bad bar, you know? They're all smell great, except she doesn't like, she doesn't like the Mountain Spice one, which I told her I said it well. I find the Mountain Spice one delightful, but it's probably one of the essential oils in there that she doesn't want. Or she doesn't like, ah, she probably needs it. Yeah. 
should tell her that. You probably need that one. It's probably pine or something like that. <laughs> Okay. Yep, this is the You'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'll make a pretty top. I don't even know why I'm making a pretty top, but I guess sometimes it's fun. Cause I'm a little sad and I need a little sharing up and we're gonna put a fun top on. Just as I can. Speaking of old songs, the, the song, It's My Party and I'll Cry If I Want To. Do you know that one? Uh, <laughs> that just pops into my head. So, I can do what I want. My soap. Okay, what do we have? We have pink and green and more white. Come on. Get on there. It stayed really nice and fluid. Wow. Can't complain. Even with the even with the ale in there. But oops. 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 How's your day all going? You have one of those days where you just feel pissy for no reason? Yeah. I just had high hopes for the day and it just like I said, it just got messed up and Nobody's fault, really. Well, it is somebody's fault, really. Like, what the heck? Why Why use Google Docs? I hate Google Docs, okay? Google doesn't need any more information about me than it already has. Why do schools have to use Google Docs? Why can't I just go in and sign my kid up for something and just pay the fee right there? Hmm? It's like, I, not all, not all people, I mean, yeah, it's common, but geez, not all people this day and age have or want to use, you know, or my other, yeah, yeah it goes along with the whole, get this app, you know, I don't want a dang app. I like the one school app, okay? I do understand it. It's great because I am not on my email every day, right? My email is not attached to my phone. My business email is attached to my phone. My work, my personal email, no. So I tell teachers, if you wanna get a hold of me, either use the app or call me. I'm fine with a phone call. Boy, am I screwing this up? Just, ugh, whatever, you know. Why do I need 5,000 apps on my phone for school? Why do I need doodle? I mean, oh, it's convenient. Well, it's not convenient for me all the time. Sometimes it is. Sometimes there's great uses of it, but it's like, what if I don't want to? Hmm? What if I just don't want to? I should have put the weight down first. And then the colors and, you know. But, you know, you're ready. Can't do what I'm supposed to do, when I'm supposed to do it, how I'm supposed to do it. You can't waste the soap, you guys. No, no, no. You don't ever waste the soap. So even though it's going to be white on top mostly and I'm losing my blue, it'll be okay. It's all okay. Can you see this even? Okay. My like, how far over did I get? Sorry about that. Okay. So, can't remember what this is called, but it's really, really cool when you do it. Hmm. Hmm. Should I do this? Isn't that pretty? I'm prettier if I had blue and purple in there and pink, but <laughs> uh, yeah, that's me. Oh, that's so me. Okay, 
So, this is going to be sprayed with 91% alcohol. And it is gonna go in the oven to be sea popped and gelled. Hopefully it gels. Pop those colors, pop those colors, right? And then we will cut it tomorrow. But if you stay tuned, you'll see it sooner. <laughs> okay. okay, and for the cut. So the top is called a chevron top, but I'm not sure if it counts when you do it both ways or if it's just supposed to be the one way. But this bar was super soft. Like at this point, like I smushed the corner there, getting it out. Yeah, super, super soft. But uh, what do you do, right? Um, speaking of old movies, before since we're on old songs um ha, I, I my girls and I love old movies like the old I don't know if they've seen the old Elvis Presley ones I think my oldest has I, I used to love them when she was little and uh like White Christmas and um Holiday Inn and uh love the silent movies, Charlie Chaplin. And um, one of my favorites is uh, old movies is um, The Bell Boy with um, Jerry Lewis. Because he says absolutely nothing through the whole movie. Nothing till the end. <laughs> it's so funny. Or Abbott and Costello. You know? I mean, they're totally out of my time. You know, they're totally on my girls this time. But... They're just, they're classics. They're awesome to watch. Like, it's a totally different era. I mean, just, they're just great. But anyway, isn't this bar beautiful? It is so, so pretty. Like, sometimes I amaze myself, you know? And this is one of those times that I totally amaze myself. And I was really happy that I got pretty close and, like, did it again. On the scent is um, champagne. It's sparkling champagne with a light floral overlay. Or more floral with the champagne background. Yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, so pretty. So, yeah, I'm pointing out the glycerin rivers in there. So extra water content and really liquid and heat and whatever makes it. <laughs> However they're made, the magic of glycerin rivers. It's pretty. It's cute in the design. I like it. I like the whole thing. Yeah, it's just so pretty. Super soft, though. I couldn't believe it. But that's okay. And then here's my first bar from the first batch. And there's a second bar. Not too bad at all. There you go. Love potion number nine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back again. We'll see you later. Bye.